something you might not know about Canada. When I say Rideau Canal, the first thing that comes to mind probably isn't NHL hockey. After all, as a hockey rink, it's not even regulation size. But in 1905, the Stanley Cup and the Canal had a chance to get up close and personal. After winning the Cup, the Ottawa Silver 7 took it out on the town. I'm glad to see that proud tradition has lasted for over 100 years. After celebrating with a few drinks, which is another hockey tradition that seems to have stood the test of time, the players tried to see if they could kick the cup across the canal, because why wouldn't you? They might have been smashed or hammered, I'm not sure what the medical term is, but in their defense, in 1905, the cup was just a cup, not the multi-layered three-foot-tall version that we know today. Even still, they should have probably left the punting to a place kicker. The cup didn't make it across, and they left it in there until the next day which explains why there's now a white-gloved attendant who compulsively guards it everywhere it goes. Tastes like playoff beard. Once is enough. Okay. Did you wash this? Why do you think I wear white gloves? And that's something you might not know about Canada.